Is your system in chaos? Hi, I'm Mark Weppel. I'm here to tell you the one thing that you can do to get control of your system. Now, what do I mean by chaos? I mean things like resource shortages, priority battles, constant expediting, too much work in process, too much rework. Everything just takes too long. Little's Law is a very simple concept that will help you gain control over your system. Mastering this concept will arm you with the one thing that will improve your process and it doesn't cost a dime. Now why do we care? Little's Law teaches us that when we introduce work into the system faster than the current throughput, then queue times will increase. Aside from the wasted inventory and wasted investment in idle work, queue times are important because they are the most significant things to customers. Customers don't like waiting. Now, not only does that affect customers, it affects the people in the process. When there's too much workload, the work priority system breaks down and that results in extra work sorting and resorting work. Managers spend all of their time in meetings, figuring out what's the most important thing to do today and then where is it? Resources, those who are responsible for doing the work, have to stop working on one thing, start working on another thing, and then come back and start working on something else. This task switching, uh, we call this multitasking. It feels, and it is, chaotic. And both employees and managers are frustrated. The most common thing that we see, I say we, Pinnacle Strategies, see, is that processes have too much work in the system almost always. We see symptoms every day, and I say we, you and I, but most people don't see these as symptoms. They see them as just a fact of life. This frequent expediting, this not feeling in control, missed deliveries, unhappy customers, unhappy employees. It just takes too long to get work through the system. Little's Law says that in a stable process, there are only three characteristics that govern process behavior and that there's a relationship between the three process characteristics. So if you change one, then it will affect the others. Now those characteristics are one, inventory, or the total amount of work inside the system, queue time or waiting time, and then third, throughput. We can summarize Little's Law by saying that the average inventory is equal to throughput multiplied by the average queue time or the average queue time is approximately equal to the amount of work inside the system divided by the rate of throughput. Here's an example. Let's take an airport security checkpoint. Now, the average queue size is 17 and a half passengers. And where that other half passenger is, we don't know, but 17 and a half because it makes the numbers good. Throughput is 600 an hour, meaning that 10 passengers per minute pass through the checkpoint. So to determine how long a typical passenger would spend in the checkpoint queue, we can use Little's Law. We could take the average queue size, 17 and a half, and divide that by the rate, 10 passengers per minute. So that means that the average time a passenger will spend in the queue at the checkpoint is 1.75 minutes. Wouldn't that be great? Little's Law shows us that we only need to change one of the characteristics to have an influence over the other two, thus the entire process. If you have a stable process where throughput is essentially stable and you want to reduce queue time, you only need to reduce inventory. If you want to reduce inventory, you only need to reduce queue time. Now, if you're a process owner and you're unhappy with the performance of your process, you have three dimensions that you can change and influence that process. Inventory, queue time, and throughput. Alter one, and you will affect the performance of your entire system. Now, how do you reduce chaos in the system? You reduce inventory. And of course, as an effect, you get shorter queue times. Now, the simplest way to reduce inventory is to reduce the rate of work that you introduce into the system and then control that release to equal the throughput of the constrained resource. To start, just cut your queue sizes in half. Simply stop introducing work into the system for a period equal to about half of your queue size. Now, if half sounds like too much, all right, make it a third, but make a cut. Then after you make your cut, 
you can continue to watch the process as the inventories and the queues decline. So the one thing that you can do to eliminate chaos is to cut your queues. You, as the process owner, have complete control over this critical dimension of process performance. And that is the essence of Little's Law. How much inventory is in the system? What's your queue time? What's the throughput rate? You can change any one of those and you'll have a dramatic impact on your process performance. Learn more about how to improve your system by reading some of our eBooks or watching uh, another video. In particular, the seven lessons learned in a disaster eBook will highlight some very important things that you can do to influence your process and transform it. Now, improving processes is our business. If you're looking to make a transformation in your process, then we should talk.